Hey guys, Josh here from MobileTechVideos.com. Today here to show you how to root your Atrix 4G even if Gingerbread 2.3 is already installed. Okay, so we have our Atrix, and as many of you know, there isn't a widely known great method to root the Atrix when it has 2.3 gingerbread. There are a lot of techniques in which you can flash back to 2.2.1 firmware, perform some pre-root assignments, then do the upgrade. But as we all know at this point, that's actually very risky to take an Atrix from 2.3 back to 1.8. 3 or even 1.57 or any of the other firmwares 126 uh, because the bootloaders have changed and if you use NVFlash to do so you can end up with a hard brick. So we've got our Atrix here and we have 2.3 firmware installed. I'll unplug it and I'll show you guys the about phone section here and we've got Android 2.3.4 as you can see there on the Android version. We are not rooted. We'll show you that with titanium backup. Sorry, I could not acquire root privileges. Okay, now I came across a handy little tool. Uh, it's probably well known in a lot of the other variants. I'll go ahead and plug that because there is one step on the phone that we need to, to do. But the tool is called Pete's Motorola uh, Root Tools. And it's on version 1.06, or it was as of about a week ago. And it's got some support files in it. ADB files, super user, busy box, and uh, you know, and those are the support files. And then it's got an executable uh, with some simple one click options. And this actually works on a lot of other things, such as the Motorola Click, Click 2, Droid, Droid Pro, the Droid 2 Global, and Droid 3, as well as Droid X and Droid X2. So, pretty much almost anything Motorola that tool is going to work on. So let's go ahead and get our prerequisite out of the way. That is putting the phone in USB debugging mode. Press the settings button. Let's choose settings on the screen. And we'll go to applications. Then you wanna to go to development. Then you wanna make sure USB debugging is checked. Now if you're here and you have 2.2.1 firmware, check out my other video right here to use super one click root for that because that's already been exposed. Also, if you're here to learn more about how to root your 2.3 experience, as well as learn how to tether after the 2.3 update, stay tuned, that video is coming up shortly. So now we'll plug our phone in, and I'll set it down. Now you need to be sure that you have your USB Motorola drivers installed. You can get those at my website. The link in the description is below. Simply double click the executable file and install those. Then plug your phone in and it may take a bit, but eventually it should uh, install the ADB driver. After that is done, I like to do a quick check using ADB devices command to show that we do indeed have our device. You don't have to do that. You can just install the drivers and do your own um, know-how to make sure that it's connected. Pretty much the app won't run correctly if it's not correct, correctly uh, installed as far as the drivers go. So I'll come right back after you've accomplished those prerequisites and we'll get going on how to do this. Okay, we are back and hopefully you have completed your prerequisites and plugged your phone in and you now have ADB access. Let's take a look at the Pete's Motorola Root Tools uh, software here. Uh, we've got the title up top and we've got the supported models and then we've got you will need the following which we've already covered uh, in the steps beforehand. And then at the bottom we've got four buttons. We've got root my phone, unroot my phone, run temp ADB root procedure which is kind of like a, uh, a temporary root to give you root access on the fly if you don't plan on rooting the device permanently. And you can restore my system slash app folder, um, which it's supposed to create a backup when you root the phone. So that way you can restore it and I believe that would remove the super user app uh, and BusyBox applications that get installed. Um, so let's go ahead and we've got our phone plugged in. Uh, it's as simple as doing this. Let's go ahead and root my phone. So click root my phone, it's going to search for the phone. When it finds the phone, it will say done or found as it does there. 
and it's going to start running exploit one of three, which is setting up a sim link. And now we've rebooted our phone, and we'll catch up with you guys in just a moment. It's going to reboot and come back up, and we'll get back on topic with the video as soon as it has rebooted. All right, our phone has rebooted. We'll unlock it, and in a moment, it will authorize USB again after it's booted up some other things and my launcher is loaded and whatnot. And we'll take a look at the second step that Pete's Motorola Root Tools is going to take to uh, get us rooted. Now, like I said, you know, this is really, in my opinion, the easiest way to do this. I've been getting lots of questions about how do we root the Atrix when it has 2.3, and here's how. So there's ADB access, it found it again, and now we're running step two of three, which is modifying the local.prop, uh, which will probably include a mount command for read write access. We're rebooting the phone once again. It's about to go back down, and uh, as soon as it does, we'll catch up with you guys in just a moment. And uh, there goes the reboot, there's the boot screen, and uh, I'll catch up with you guys in just a second after this other reboot. All right, we have successfully rebooted for our second time, and we'll wait for USB access to be authorized by the phone once again after we've loaded all our applications and our launcher. That's just the way the Atrix works. It likes to delay USB access until it knows that it's loaded everything. So in a moment we will get that and we will complete our third and final step of root. And then we'll go over some tests uh, using titanium backup. So there's the third time it's found it again. And now we're adding super user BusyBox and the super user APK. Now BusyBox is what allows us to run a lot of root based commands that Linux commands uh, that you can run a Linux environment such as uh, copy and move and remove and things like that. Super user will allow us to run the uh, SU command which gives us root prompt and superuser.apk is the application itself that will uh, manage all of our permissions and it remembers what apps ask for permission and that way you don't have to say yes every single time an app uses root permissions. So we're going up for our third and final reboot. Catch up with you guys in just a sec after we have and we'll review our root access. All right, here's our phone. It's booted back up. Let's take a look at the last messages that are presented to us. Congratulations, your phone should now be rooted after one more reboot, which is, of course, what it said right after that third reboot. And be careful what you do with this kind of access, as you can ruin your phone if you are not careful. That's obviously true. There's a lot more you can do with root access as opposed to not having it, but you can do a lot more in a good, good way as well. So just don't do things stupid like removing your uh, build.prop file or removing your android.policy.jar file or editing those files if you don't know what you're doing. Root access will allow you to do that, but don't do it if you don't know what you're doing. Otherwise, you're going to end up with a soft brick and you'll have to reflash. And if you do, it's not a big deal, but you know, who wants to go there? So anyways, let's go ahead and test our root access. We'll go to titanium backup now, and you'll notice that we are now prompted for root permissions with super user app. And we'll just say allow, and boom, now we have root access, and uh, it's going to give us the rundown on the application since I cleared cache and data before using it. And there we are. We are root access was okay, BusyBox was found. All right, let's also do one more test using ADB commands. We'll plug the phone in, and uh, I'll go ahead and open my command prompt and run a simple command of ADB devices. Now that's a command that pulls any and every device plugged into my computer and there's our Atrix and uh, ADB shell will give me a terminal for the phone and one more command for SU will give me super user access which is root access from the terminal. I'll press enter and we'll get the command. So there's super user access. Now we've allowed and we got our pound sign which represents root access from the terminal. Now that's a little geekier than you may have expected to see. You can check more out on that type of access using our ADB video above my finger there. And you can learn more about how ADB works. It's very useful and I recommend anyone looking to modify their Android phone learn more about ADB. 
Uh, so anyways, that is Pete's Motorola Root Tools. You can find out more about that at my website in the link in the description below. Be sure to donate to us if you appreciate this video and future developments like it. We put a lot of time and effort into making these videos. Also, I will try to track down Pete's uh, donate address for PayPal. I really encourage you to donate to him as well if you do consider donating to either of us at all. And uh, hopefully he gets the acts, uh, you know, the... Um the, uh, the views that he deserves from me blogging about this. So this is part one in the tethering video for root access on Android 2.3 for Motorola devices and specifically the Motorola Atrix 4G. That's how to root your phone if it has Gingerbread 2.3 installed without using any type of revert uh, pre-install based methods. Brought to you by MobileTechVideos.com. My name's Josh. Be sure to check us out. We have our store in the description below, and you can check out all of our Atrix 4G uh, cases and chargers, smartphone docks. We can replace LCDs. We can also perform this for you as well for just 30 bucks. It's called our Root ROM and Root Upgrade Service. We can also install a custom ROM at the same time if you're interested in having that done. So check us out, MobileTechVideos.com. We'd love your business. We appreciate you for watching. Follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and most importantly, subscribe here on YouTube for the latest developments for your Atrix 4G. Thanks for watching, guys, and I hope to see you in the next video, hopefully as a subscriber.